Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Frugal Littimer. My name's Sam and this is where we talk about all things sewing. And today is another Frugal Friday. Yay! So welcome if you're new. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a Frugal Friday. It's where I look at new free patterns and discounts and giveaways. This week I've got seven new free patterns to talk about. I've got a couple of giveaways. No discounts this week. Um, push for time, which you might be able to notice that lighting is a little bit dodgy and that's because it's 7pm uh, and hopefully I'm going to be able to get this edited and out tonight. So welcome if you're new and if you've already subscribed and you've been watching for a long time, thank you so much. It is truly appreciated. And thank you so much to those who have contributed to my coffee account as well. Thank you so much. Uh, so let's get cracking. I've got a little announcement at the end as well. So if you hang on, I'll give you a little bit of an update on our little challenge as well at the end. If you see me looking down, apologies, I am quite old. <laughs> I do forget so I have to make notes but I will be sharing my screen a little bit as well later on for some, some of the patterns. So I'm going to start off with this beautiful feminine blouse that I found from a French pattern company that I've never seen before. They're called La Pie Vert and my French accent's awful I'm sorry. Uh, I think it means the green magpie and it's called the Anastasia blouse. So this is a lovely feminine blouse. It's got buttons down the front. You've got um, a frill or a flounce all the way down the side of the button plackets. Short sleeves to the elbow and that's got a tiny little bit of a flounce as well and they look a little bit puffed to the sleeves. So I thought this was a really really pretty blouse. So this comes in sizes 34 to 46 so that's European sizing and that translates as a 31 inch bust up to a 41 inch bust. There's about three inches of ease in that and it's suitable for something like a chiffon or a voile or it says a poplin, I don't know if the poplin, yeah I think a poplin would be nice, or a crepe or a cotton viscose or a silk. It's saying if you're a beginner stick with the cotton, something like that would be nice and easy to handle. You will need also some bias tape. Apparently the bias tape actually shows on the outside of the blouse so you want a matching bias tape so maybe now's the time to look at that video that I made about making your own bias tape and then some shank buttons. So this is in French. The instructions are in French. If you open the link that I'll leave below uh, in Google, if you if you open it in Google Chrome, that will translate the page for you. And uh, I have got a video on how to translate PDFs. But the instructions look lovely and clear. You should be able to work it out from the instructions, I would imagine. But I thought I'd just give you a bit of an heads up about that one because it's a bit unfair me saying what a wonderful pattern it is if you if you can't translate it. Um, but yeah, you can you you should be able to follow that video. And I made it for the BDN top. It will roughly translate it. It won't be perfect translation. But I thought that was a really really pretty little blouse to start off with. So next up is from a German website, and this is called the Franzi Shacket. So there's two patterns on this website that I've found. They're from the DIY Hemmers Itex. I think there must be a fabric shop, I'm not sure. But they've got two little patterns on here. One's a, a shacket, the Franzi jacket, and it's got a dropped shoulder. It's got a flat collar. It's got cuffs, but I don't think you've got buttons on those cuffs. Buttons down the front and then two pockets at the breast with a flap on. So don't be fooled by the picture that you can see on your left hand side. There's a picture of somebody in a pink, what looks like an overshirt or a, a shacket. That looks like it's got a yoke at the front. It's not that one. <laughs> I don't know why they've got that picture on there. And also the picture that the model's wearing is quite a lot shorter than the actual finished shacket. It doesn't give you the finished length. The reason I found this is I saw somebody on Instagram with it with a really nice colour blocked version of this and it is quite long. And you can tell by the line drawing that it is quite long as well. So they are suggesting a wool for this, but it's, you know, you can make it in a flannel, it'd be nice in a corduroy, it'd be nice in a nice lightweight denim chambray, boiled wool, something like that, it'd be really nice. So this is available in an extra small to a double extra large and that equates to a 30 inch bust up to a 42 and a half inch bust. Uh, and it's drafted for somebody who's five foot five. Now I think with something like this, 
you can get away with not actually lengthening it. It's got a nice curved hem on it. So I thought that was a really nice one. And the, the sample that I saw on Instagram, I'll try and find the lady and link you to her. You can have a look at her sample in the colour blocked one. It looked really, really nice. So I think you will need a bit of experience with sewing with this one because although it's a flat collar and a dropped sleeve, uh, all that's quite simple. If you don't want to do buttons, you can put poppers on the front. Uh, but the instructions are a little bit scant. I'll share my screen showing the instructions and you can see what the instructions are like. They are a little bit scant on there, so you might need a little bit of an experience sewing. Also on the same website is the Helene dress, which I thought was really, really pretty. Simple dress with a scoop neck. It's designed for knits. Just a sort of nice uh, wide scoop neck on it and then you've got a slightly flared skirt part to it. So you'll just need a metre and a half of fabric for this one. They're suggesting a Ponte Roma for it, but I think any stretch fabric will be okay. French terry. Something called a Romanite. I think that might be Ponte Roma. I think that's been lost in translation somewhere. Jersey sweat, something like that. Something with a bit of spandex, they're saying. This is sized slightly differently. This is sizes 36 to 46, which goes from a 33 inch bust up to a 41 inch bust. So it slightly narrower size range is this one. It is an empire style cut dress is this so it's slightly loose around the waist. Cut close to the body at the top and then slightly loose around the waist so I think that's a really pretty dress is that one. So yeah you only need about a meter and a half for the dress and about two and a half meters for the jacket. These aren't from a pattern designer I think that it's just that they're hosting them free on their website so just something a bit different there for you. Next up is about four patterns from one website. I'm not going to talk too much about two of them because they're just a standard pair of leggings and t-shirts. This is a website called or a, a designer called Lowland Kids. Never come across these before neither. I don't know how long they've been going but the kids patterns is a nice v-necked loose v-necked t-shirt. You can have a long or short sleeves and then they've got some leggings which are like rigged leggings which you can put a cuff on or not. Uh, fairly box standard I think you can find those free more or less anywhere. But what I did really like was the little hoodie that they have for children. What I liked about it is that you've got options for either having a, a placket down the front, I think there's two or three buttons, or you can put, put, put poppers on, or a crossover hood. And then you can have the option of the kangaroo pocket as well. I thought this was a really sweet little pattern. It goes from ages, from newborn up to ages nine to ten. And they're just suggesting a uh, sweatshirt fabric for this. Something like a French terry or something like that. It doesn't have to have as much stretch as you think because of the you've got the placket to get it over the head. I think it is designed to be quite loose fitting as well. So in the pictures I'm showing you, you'll see what I really liked was they've done a longer version and on a little girl with a quite a wide band at the bottom. And it almost looks like a tunic and I thought that was really quite cute actually. So alongside those three kids patterns, there is a, an adult pattern as well on there. And the adult pattern is a t-shirt that's the same as a child's t-shirt so it's a, a grown-up version so you can have a mummy and me t-shirt or a daddy and me t-shirt with this one doesn't say it's unisex but I don't really see why why it wouldn't be but this again is quite a loose fit got the v-neck you've got three options on the sleeve so you can go long sleeved you can go um sleeveless and then the short sleeved one uh, she, you can see in the picture she's got it rolled up so the short sleeved one comes almost to the elbow but she's got it rolled up uh, so don't be deceived by that, it's not as short as it looks. She's suggesting a slub jersey for that one, but I think it'd be nice in either a bamboo or a viscose jersey with that one. Nice and sort of loose fitting and, and nice and casual wear. It is a nice simple t-shirt, everything straight lines, but the v-neck might take a bit of practice. So I think take it steady. I've got a tutorial for doing a v-neck actually, so if you want to watch that. She's got detailed instructions for adjusting the height to achieve your ideal length as well. Uh, and I think the instructions are quite good on this one as well. So yeah, you'll need either one and a half or two and a half yards depending on your size. It's available as PDF, A0 and projector files and that goes from double extra small up to five extra large. That's a 30 and a half inch bust and up to a 61 inch bust. She does say that the larger sizes haven't been pattern tested so you just need to be aware of that. So the next one is from Benina. I subscribe to Benina newsletters and every month they send me a free pattern of the month so this Sally coat that I'm going to show you now is only available free during the month of February. So if you want it, uh, you might have to subscribe to the newsletter, I'm not sure. I'm going to leave you a link to both uh, so that if you can't get 
it from the download that I leave you then try subscribing to the newsletter and you should be able to get it that way. But I thought this was a really nice one. It's another oversized one, but it's got a few nice details. So the lapel on it is really nice. And then the upper and lower bodice are in two separate parts. And I thought that again would be a really nice opportunity for a bit of colour blocking. They are suggesting that you would make it in a suede like jersey, which is something that I'm wearing today. I've got my uh, so over it heather dress on but you can't see it properly this is it's like a it is like a suede jersey that i picked up on my local market i've got another length of this and it would be perfect for this jacket so what i, I, I like i like the fact that they've put one pocket on it i think it's something i've never thought of doing before but i think it just gives it that little designer look there's no buttons or buttonholes in this one I, d I think you would be able to make it in a woven fabric to be fair i don't think it needs to be in in a stretch fabric it's so oversized you wouldn't need it to be stretched so i think it'd be fine in a boiled wool or something like that or a lightweight denim or a cord again you just need to make sure that you can turn those lapels through so that's that's just the thing to watch with that one the sleeves look like they're grown on uh, so probably uses quite a lot of fabric up on this one i've not written it down how much you need but um yeah the the sleeves are grown on so that means that it, it will take up quite a lot of fabric again because it's a european one the sizing is 34 to 48 that's their european sizing and that equates to a 31 inch bust to a 43 inch bust so yeah i think that's a really nice one and the way the the upper and lower bodice is constructed if you're not keen on patch pockets you could perhaps put a pocket inside that seam as well as a as a different design detail uh, and I think it would actually be quite nice in a in an Ankara fabric or a, an African wax print fabric with this. It'd be a real statement piece. So that's the Sally Coat from Benina. So last but by no means least uh, is this lovely Etty Cami top by Tammy Handmade. So just discovered this designer this week, never seen her before. Uh, and she's got some really lovely patterns on her website. And I will be talking about her in a little while. But for this Etty camisole, this is a really pretty little camisole. Uh, no fastenings, you could, it just slips over your head. It's not very fitted, it's quite loose fitting. As such, it's not got any bust darts in it. So you've just got this lovely scalloped edge around the neckline. It's horizontally square, quite low at the back. The hemline's quite straight as well. So yeah, you've just got quite thin straps. If you're not a fan of uh, such thin straps and you want to cover your bra, bra strap, I would imagine there'd be a way of widening that if you want to. It's all faced, it's not It's not finished with a bias binding. If you're worried about those scallops, she has got a really good little tutorial on how to do it and it looks really straightforward and simple. So yeah, beginner friendly, no buttons. I would say it's a skill builder, doing those, those scallops nice and neatly and accurately. So just take your time. Uh, really slow your sewing machine down just take your time and make sure that you're cutting accurately into those scallops this comes in sizes 6 to 24 which is a 31 inch bust up to a 49 inch bust maximum 52 inch hip and she's suggesting uh, your lightweight wovens for this one so viscose or a crepe or a voile cotton lawn something like that that's it for free patterns today that's your seven free patterns probably nine actually if we add them up but anyway but i wanted to include tammy handmade because uh, she's also got a giveaway going on instagram because she's a new pattern designer uh, i think she's promoting her lovely patterns and there's a pair of trousers there they're called the henna or hena trousers wide leg trousers uh, i think they've got slant pockets elasticated waist really elegant actually with that cami top and she's giving away 10 sets of these so obviously the cami top's free anyway but she's giving away the trousers and that is available until the 16th of february so all you need to do is follow her uh, like it and tag a friend as i always say if you haven't got a friend to tag feel free to tag me that's absolutely fine so the second reason i wanted to mention her is because i tried to download this etta camisole last night when i discovered it and i couldn't so i messaged her on instagram this morning and just said I'm, we're, we're having trouble uh, she sorted it out but very cheekily i said whilst i'm on we're running a little challenge would you be willing to donate some prizes so she's very very kindly donated a package of three of her patterns to the prize pool so i wanted to give her a bit of a shout out because i thought that was really lovely and kind of her <laughs> bit cheeky i know but <laughs> you've got to ask haven't you <laughs> so just another couple of other giveaways that I've spotted. Uh, one is from the Avid Seamstress. She's given away five of her patterns. All you need to do on that one is comment which of her patterns is your favourite 
on her Instagram account. You don't have to tag anybody for this one, but she's always nice, isn't it? When you can just when you can just comment, and I think she's doing it to cheer people up. So I quite like her blazer pattern uh, and the culottes and the city trousers. So it'd be quite a difficult one for me to choose with that one. That's open until the 20th of February. The last giveaway I've got for you is with William G. Uh, this is a big haberdashery shop down in London. They've got a special Valentine's sewing kit up for grabs, uh, worth £100 it says, but looking at the gear that's on there, I reckon it's worth more than £100. It looks like there's a Tilly and the Buttons pattern in there, loads of uh, threads, a rotary cutter, scissors, all sorts on there. Definitely worth a punt is that, and I think you've just got to follow William G, tag someone on there, and if you share on stories you get an extra entry. And that's open until the 18th of February. Uh, it is open internationally, but prizes can only be sent or shipped to the UK. Not sure how that works. <laughs> but uh, I suppose if you're in the US and you've got a, a relative or a pal who can send it over for you, might be worth entering. Don't ask me, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Right, so on to the big announcement now. So there won't be a Frugal Friday next week. There will be a live YouTube video from Ruan and I. I've mentioned before, we're doing the what we called last year the Frugal Frocks Challenge. This year we're calling it So Frugal 22. And it is open to all garments. So it's so a garment, using a free pattern during the month of March. And the reveal date is on the 31st of March and you must use stash fabric. Those are the four rules, but we're going to go live next Friday, around about 8 o'clock GMT. Don't ask me what, what that is in your country, I haven't got a clue. You'll have to work it out. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and that will tell you when it goes live. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask us about the challenge, just bob on and uh, we'll try and answer them. The, it is a straightforward one, you know, it's not complicated, but we do get often get questions like, can I use this or can I do this or can I do that? So I thought it'd be a nice way to interact with everybody and engage with everybody. Rowan and I will probably have a glass of wine in front of us, so if <laughs> so, it could all go disastrously wrong, who knows? But yeah, um, make sure that you're you hit the notification bell and then that, that will tell you when, when it's on. We've got over 70 YouTubers involved in this challenge this year. So we're starting the challenge for the YouTubers videos a little bit earlier. So the first ones will be out on the 19th of February and that'll be Alex Judge and Shirley Penfold, who is So Fabricate. They will be kicking off very bravely um, for us on the 19th. That's the day after we do the live. And then I will be doing a video then the Friday afterwards for my inspiration videos of what I would think what I would be thinking of doing for the actual challenge obviously I can't win the prizes and believe me we've got some fantastic prizes I've already mentioned one uh, I don't want to mention them all because obviously I'll be here all night but I think we've got something like uh, 40 prizes available so really worth taking part so please come and join in the fun and even if it's just a laugh, laugh at us being, <laughs> being completely technically inept, uh, yeah, just come and join us. So that's it from me today. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you next week. Bye. Bye.